certain foods literally burn body fat, like uh, green teas or fruits and veggies. I think as this, uh, this image nicely um, demonstrates, there's no, there's no such thing as uh, fat burning foods. Uh, that is, there is, there's no such thing um, as foods that literally burn body fat. Don't get me wrong, there are, there are certain foods that are uh, uh, more supportive of um, um, uh, achieving and sustaining the calorie deficit, absolutely. Um, but there is no such thing as a, a, as a food or a drink that literally burns body fat. Um, I know things like um, you know, skinny teas are, are an example that springs to mind. Um, and, and it really is... Um, uh, it really is nonsense and um, skinny teas, not me to, to, to pick them out because there are lots of uh, guilty parties here, but it really is, um, it's, just, it's just damaging, disempowering information, um, trying to get you to uh, spend your hard earned cash on these uh, faddy uh, products. So yeah, em em empower yourself with this. No food will literally burn body fat. Uh, that said, you know, as, as the text here um, states, there are certain foods that are, are more um, supportive of a calorie deficit. So maybe those ones that contain uh, more protein uh, or, or fiber uh, for reasons that they're, they're going to keep you fuller for longer and they're going to make you feel fuller more quickly. Um, and that's going to decrease the likelihood of uh, overeating or snacking between uh, meals. Um, and, and certainly more likely to uh, reduce your overall calorie intake uh, across the day. So, you know, you're talking things like vegetables, fruits, uh, lean proteins, whole grains, etc. cetera. A anything, um, any, anything that uh, is close to how mother nature uh, made it is a good way to, uh, to go with, with, with that one. Uh, moving on. Yeah, same, same point here. Yeah, top 10 fat burning foods. There are no such things as fat burning foods. No food can literally burn body fat. Fat loss occurs in a calorie deficit only uh, or, or during liposuction. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, so, so, uh, so as I said, you know, some, some foods might be uh, um, more supportive of uh, hitting your uh, calorie deficit because they, um, they keep you fuller for longer. Um, adding on to that, there, there are foods, you know, that contain fewer calories, obviously. Um, so your, your reduced uh, overall calorie consumption, yeah, you're going to experience reduced calorie consumption, uh, you know, over the, over the day. Um, and, and yeah, obviously you can spend uh, your calories uh, more wisely on things that uh, are going to uh, keep you fuller for longer, which is the same point. I just made so I don't know why I've got that as two separate points um, yeah I'll edit that after I finish this so for the third time there is no food or drink that literally burns body fat um, fat loss doesn't work like that as we know the only way we can burn body fat is by achieving and sustaining a calorie deficit um, for weeks on end for, for a, a, a sustained period of time and uh, yeah, yeah, consuming many veggies, fruits, lean proteins, whole grain and healthy fats, uh, obviously in moderation with the fats, is, is one sure way of achieving this, but, um, but you knew that already. Moving on. Okay, you know, uh, again, you know, on, on the flip side, so whilst there are no foods that will uh, cause us to literally burn body fat, at the same time, there are no foods that will cause us to literally gain body fat. Um, this image is, is a really nice one from Sohi Lee. Um, and uh, the, the, the takeaway point here is that, you know, sometimes we think, oh, I've, I've had a cookie today. I've had, uh, I've indulged myself. I've been you know, naughty and I, I've had something that uh, I know to be uh, calorific. And I am therefore on the back of that, you know, experience fat gain. You know, I might expect the scale to go up the next day and, you know, it's just going to plunge you into a, you know, a bit of a, a black huff, as I would say. Um, you know, a bit of a mood, a bit of a downer. Um, it just doesn't work like that. Um, you know, you've, you've got a budget for the day. 
all that happens when you eat something that is of lower quality, such as a, a cookie, for example, all that has happened is you have spent um, 200, 300 calories ish of your budget on, on a cookie. That's all. I mean, in fact, you've still got the vast majority of your budget still left to spend. So, you know, as this image is saying, it's, um, it's a surplus of calories that causes weight gain. It's not one cookie in isolation. Uh, you know, and, and this, this takes us on to another point, which is about um, sustainability. You know, it's important that we can, we can recognize that within any, um, within any you know, successful fat loss strategy, um, there needs to be this, um, this, this understanding, this knowledge that you, you can eat foods that are less healthy and still very much uh, stay on track. Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really important point because if, if you don't understand that um, and you're going around going, oh, I need to be 100% on it all the time, then you really do set yourself up uh, for failure because you know, life, life happens. Um, you know, we, we can be in environments where we can't control what food is around us. You know, we can be stressed. I mean, like right now, I'm fairly stressed. I can't work at the moment. Um, you know, so, so uh, I'm... It's potentially not not in my case, fortunately, but potentially these things can cause to uh, you know emotional eating. Um, and no one emotionally eats on vegetables. You're likely to reach for something a little bit more um, a little bit more indulgent. You know, and, and if if you think then on the back of that that you've totally ruined uh, all of your progress in, in the gym, and and then you're gonna you know you're gonna get fat on the back of that, then it's only gonna compound this uh, downward cycle of. Um, of misery, you know, and, and you know, it can end up really impacting your mindset, putting you in a really bad space, which we know is knock-on effects to um, uh, just kind of holistic well-being more generally. So for me, this is a really important point: is that um, you can have indulgent foods, calorie-rich foods, and please just recognise that they, in isolation, are not going to have any impact on your uh, body fat as long as you're, you're within the context of a of a calorie deficit so yeah the, the, the truth here the, the only reason we gain unwanted body fat is because we are in a sustained calorie surplus um, and certainly some foods contain more calories than others but no food nor drink is inherently fattening not even cookies uh, yeah, and in fact, as I said, I, I personally I'm a, I'm a bit anal about food language, and, and fattening isn't a word I I use because it's I think it's misleading. So I use words like calorific, high in calories, you know, expensive when it comes to calories, which isn't very catchy. Uh, budget friendly, uh, calorie budget friendly is another one I would use. Um, so yeah, I think I made my point there. Moving on. So yes, as I said, you know, when we mastering calorie quality, it's recognizing that we are working to a budget. It's your budget. You can spend your budget on whatever you like. That is the headline. However, uh, you can be much more wise about your choices to, to, to better um, uh, facilitate you sticking to that budget. And obviously, if we were to... Um, uh, opt for cookies as, as a go-to then it's much less likely that that's uh, going to happen um oh yeah i'm talking about uh, food language again here good or bad foods again it's, it's not a term that i use um there's no morality involved when we're talking about foods um again this is another great image from sohi yeah it, it, exactly you know it's like uh for a lot of people that have a cookie and you think, oh, my diet's ruined, I'm gonna wake up heavier, I've, I've ruined everything, or, or maybe I, I need to, to punish myself with cardio or I need to starve myself. Um, whereas it doesn't work like that. You know, in fact, as I said, all that's happened is you've spent a couple of hundred calories on something that was yummy. Um, uh, you know, I was worth, it's always worth asking the question whether it was worth it or not, and it's something I do with my clients. Um, and you know, whenever they've indulged, I, I ask the question, and, um, uh, and I'm not being um, uh, uh, petulant, I think that's the right word, childish. It's a legit question, was it worth it? Was it worth spending those uh, calories on that particular item? You know, and if it was, awesome, no harm done, draw a line, move on. 
Um, how are we doing for time? I think I've probably chewed your ear off enough for now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause it there and I'm going to pick this up um, in the near future. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I hope that gave you a couple of minutes of uh, entertainment and uh, distraction from being locked in your houses. Much love and uh, I will um, I'll speak to you again soon. Mm -hmm.